recollections of Bray Rod was that it was mostly um, started by and um, ended up being primarily a sort of friendship uh, group of guys. Uh, John Ruskay, Jerry Serrata, Peter Geffen, um, that then expanded a little more. I do not remember any women being part of that sort of core group. Well, there certainly was a uh, almost immediate attempt to involve some kind of representation of women in the national leadership of Ray Ra. Uh, but because it was never equal, and it and it was and in essence the positions for women were being given to them by men, it, it didn't achieve a uh, a real egalitarian climate or an egalitarian intellectual um, uh, level as a result. You know, I think even to the degree that women were invited in to be part of Bray Ra, it felt like we were invited into a project that was already ongoing as opposed to having been part of what was creating it in the first place. We felt somehow uh, marginal or like we had been invited in as an afterthought because I think we had been invited in as an afterthought. The priority of a Brera was to seek the most effective strategies to try to um, open discussion in the American Jewish community and pursue Israeli-Palestinian, find ways of trying to advance uh, what everyone was committed to which was a peaceful resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. There was a conscious effort to look for as many elite endorsers, third-party endorsers as possible. Women were, I mean, the system kind of reinforces one itself. There were few women at that time in those positions, hence they couldn't be the endorsers. There were certainly no women rabbis at the time, so there were no women heads of federations. There were no women heads of Jewish communal organizations. There were probably almost no women presidents of congregations. Um, so if you're looking for validators, um, it's true, you're not going to find women among the validators. It didn't mean that's not a reason why you couldn't have women among the people looking for validators. Brera would have to be called, as probably every other organization of its time and many till this day, highly sexist. It was certainly male-dominated. It was a difficult universe for women to penetrate. And all I would say, looking back, is the tremendous loss that we had in the leadership of Brera, not having had an equal number of women sitting at the table. They certainly were all around with more or as much competence as any of us had. And they would have brought to the table a different perspective, a different way of being, a different orientation that would have helped us over the course of those years. Mm -hmm.